although I was pretty sure that my Bible student wasn't yet married, that is, legally married, she had never told me this directly, and I just didn't feel comfortable talking with her about it. I had a Bible student who always prepared for and commented well at the study. I kept inviting her to the meeting, but she never went to a single one, and she never attended the memorial. I saw that she still had ties with some aspects of her religion. The article brought out that in the first few weeks, as soon as the study becomes regular, it's important to start praying with the student. It used to take me a long time to start doing that. The article helped me because it encouraged me to bring others with me on the study, and also not to be afraid to bring along those who are more experienced. In the article, it was brought out how important it is not just for us to pray with our students, but also to help them to begin saying their own prayers as well. After that, when the study became regular, I'd pray before and after each session. And I encouraged each of them to also begin praying to Jehovah personally. So praying became a daily habit for them. A circuit overseer's wife went with me on the study and she asked my student if she was married. Yes, I'm married. But are you legally married? And then she responded, no. So that really opened up an opportunity for me to help the student out with this situation. That opened up an opportunity for me to help the student out with the situation. In what way? <laughs> Who on earth do you think you are prying into someone's private life in this way, making someone's romantic relationships your business, bringing along a circuit overseer's wife who is able to pry and ask questions that you rightly feel uncomfortable asking, and then, based on the answers to those questions, because this person isn't living her life according to your expectations, you're taking it upon yourself to help the person in this area of not being legally married to someone. Thank you, Jehovah's Witness Organization, for, again doing my work for me. If you're watching this as someone who's just interested in what it's like to study with Jehovah's Witnesses, who wants to learn more about the organization, this is how prying and controlling Jehovah's Witnesses can be.